So anyway, I'm testing out this is that OBS and seeing how well it actually does. I'm going to need to put some microphone. But basically, what I'm doing, looking up on is the Rosalie Fault. So the Rosalie Fault is quite a prominent fault system in Victoria. It's to the west of Melbourne. And if we, we can find it on Google Maps, basically, here is Werribee, Melbourne's here, the outskirts. You head towards Ballarat, going the via Pentland Hills. So you need to get off Bacchus Marsh and go south. And the Rosalie Fault is this system here. It's quite distinctive. You can see how this is a basalt plain. And then we have an uplift. So this is basically uh, higher ground around here and then here we have lower ground. So there's a lot of erosion where the actual uplift is. Okay, so it's a, so you, it forms the Brisbane and the Lodododo Gorge. So that's actually, Lodododo is up here. So it forms pretty much that system. So the Rosalie Fault continues all the way up here. And there's a good PDF. So here's the actual information about the fault system. So here's where the Rosalie Valley is. And if we look on Google Maps again, okay, bring that over here. We have Oh, Rosalie Valley. So this is the system here. So it has um, some messes in it. Quite distinctive in that they're flat top. Uh, a lot of the other peaks have been quite eroded and a round top. So White Elephant Reserve is a round top. And this one, Limestone Reserve, is a flat top. So you can see that I don't see that many watercourses originating from here. We have some. If we go to Google Maps. Uh, it gives it more. Uh, you can actually tell a lot more. So there is a Parwin Creek. So this could also be called the Parwin Valley as well. So this is the main erosional feature of that valley. So I like to go to terrain it. It just brings out the actual uh, information. Okay, so if you bring it in, you can see uh, you've got all the actual erosional features. And a lot of them stop at these side of the actual valley. So I think I'll go and look into that valley. That is very interesting. But anyway, we're talking about the Rosalie Fold. So, if you look close up, you should have Scree, Colluvium, uh, Gully Alluvium, Alluvial Terraces. I don't, I don't see any Alluvial Terraces. Probably along the watercourses. Uh, lagoons and Swamp Deposits. So they will be... The lower line areas are probably around here. So, the Rosalie Fault. And another good thing that Google is good for is you can have Street View. And obviously, you want to pick a good street that actually goes across the actual fault. So, there's only one goes through Anarchy and it goes through Fairy Park. So you can see the foothills of the fault system 
So at the moment, I'm probably on Basalt Plain. So, just, you can keep on going. If you want, you can skip all this. And probably just go up here. So at the moment, we're actually probably on the foothills of the fault. If you look at the formation, it doesn't look like you can't really tell anything there. So a lot of this is cut in when it was fresh. It was probably a lot better to see. But now you can't see squat. And yeah, basically. Ooh, trucky, trucky, truck. Brum, brum. Okay, so here we have a lot of soil development. So, if you wanted to actually see, okay, so this is not, this is not playing ball. Anyway, so the Rosalie Fault system is pretty distinctive. So we have Melbourne, it's to the east of Melbourne, and this is a, okay, so page nine. This is something you can get online. Just type in regional variation in near tectonic fault behavior in Australia. Now, I haven't read this, uh, but I will be doing that. When I'm not tired, when you're tired, you just lose a lot of information. So, this is very interesting. So, we've got this placement, and as you can see, over the last uh, 25 million years or 15 million years should I say uh, displacement has become quite extensive so time scale displacement and we have just a map of all the fault systems as you can see there's quite a lot of fault systems in Australia uh, a lot of them are probably not uh, been meh. So that's very interesting. I actually quite like this. So if you want to look at the fault, so here's the fault system Adelaide. Here's the fault system Melbourne, as you can see. Down in the Stres Lecky Ranges, in the Otway Ranges, it's quite Bolted. A lot of this would have occurred uh, since these were formed in the Cretaceous, especially after uh, Antarctica and Australia separated. So the Rosalie Faults predicted to only be about one to two million years old, and well, basically they can't date the fault system, but what they can do is, okay, so in this one we have an uplift scenario. So here we have a movement, and from my understanding, this is uplift. So millimeters per year. So here's 16, here's 12. So obviously as you go up, there's less uplift. And down, you get greater uplift. But I could be wrong in this. It could be uh, my interpretation is not that good. So basically how would they would work it out so this is roughly to rosalie fault so it would take a bit mm, so 0.2 millimeters per year uh, mm -hmm. 16 14 so probably you know 17 millimeter 0.17 millimeters per year and you take it from the height so if it's 200 meters so 
actually, I've never measured the height of the rose leaf hole. You'd need to actually, what's one of the lookouts? Does this happen about? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, I'll find that out. So the rose leaf hole, we'll just say about 400 meters. So then times one thousand, okay, four hundred thousand millimeters. And then we want to divide it by point one, was it one seven? So yeah. It's probably not too accurate, probably, but they gave me an actual date system of 2.3 million years. So one of those calculations is incorrect. Probably both of them are, but that gives you a rough idea how that actually. Um, so let's do it in. Oh. So also going to look at the lovely banks on monocline. So it's basically so this is how basically I worked it out so we've got you know we have the actual, sorry, I need to look at the actual screen over there. So 400,000 millimeters. So that's the uplift. Then we have uh, put 19 millimeters per year. So it gives us a, an age of the actual uplift of 2,105,263. But you know, then you've got to take into account erosion. So a lot of the actual peak has been eroded so that would not be an accurate date system uh, it's just an approximate okay so then we have another map from holgate et al and this one so here's the rosalie fault and it gives have systems uh, that we have around the Port Phillip Bay. So here we have, well, it doesn't give the monocline, uh, which is pity. And I haven't, re I haven't read any of this, so I'll need to read it before I actually make another video. So anyway, that is uh, the Rosalie monocline. Then you've got to have it for information. So here's a, a very interesting uh, view of uh, what it would look like if we cut it in in half. So you've got tertiary Medingley coal seams, so that's what they're running over there. And as you can see, it's quite extensive, and that overlies the tertiary Werribee formation, it's the clay and sand. And you see the Rosalie fault, that tertiary, that coal is missing it's not there and so is the plans for formation marine silt sands and miles so and over it's got the basalts so the basalts have been uplifted and also the basalts are here so they make the, uh, the actual uh, basement rock that you uh, find everywhere and here we have alluvium so when we went up the actual road 
up here, what what we're doing is going up a lot of alluvium. So yeah, so a lot of the alluvium is on this side. It's just built up. Eventually it'll be eroded and this will be cut back. Uh, and we've got a measurement 300 meters. I could have used this before. Yeah, so you've got three, four, five, about 600 meters. There's probably also 600. And yeah, that's it. So, I they get anything higher from that elevation? So that's that's using a topographic map. So that is basically the Rosely fault. And I'm also looking for other information. So here's another website, uh, Mount Anarchy. So oh here's here it is. Rosely Valley Complex. So that's the valley that you I want to drive through. So most of it's a weary B formation, so it's been uplifted. And then you've got the basalt. As you can see, there is no the actual coal and uh any of the other formations on top and here we have more information about the Rosalie Fault and you can see how forested it is all on the uplift side where farming is not as extensive and that's the actual map again and here's the I think that's a PDF we've already seen before so then we've got some images of the Rosalie Fault. So there's not too many images, so hopefully I can get out there and actually take some more pictures of uh, the actual fault system itself. So as you can see, Anarchy Gorge. This looks like probably the Werribee Formation. It's uh, definitely sedimentary rock has been layered. And hopefully this is something here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway. Let me know what you think about the Rosalie Fault. Hmm. Anyway, this is just a test stream. See how it go. Thank you and goodbye.